Welcome back to the program. I'm Roby Brock. On Monday, state lawmakers uh, come back to the Capitol to officially signy die or adjourn from the first regular session of the 91st General Assembly. They're going to turn right back around and go into their first special session. Joining me to discuss is Senate President Jonathan Dismang. Thanks for being here. Yeah, no, thanks for the opportunity. You just wanted a short week and wanted to stretch it into a long week, didn't you? Right, well, it'll still be a short week. I hope we're going to be out by Wednesday and uh, get the business done pretty quick. Let's talk about what's going to be on the call for the special session. The governor says basically there's five items. Let's talk mm -hmm. with the first two, the biggies that deal right. with health insurance, what it, give, give me the Cliff's Notes version of what's going to happen on health insurance. Yeah, so the first bill just essentially allows DHS to go out and ask for waivers in, in, in a few different areas. The first being uh, allowing the 100 to 138 to go to the exchange and, and remove those individuals from our Medicaid rolls. Uh, second is to allow a work requirement to be pl put in place. Right now we have a work referral. This would be an actual requirement for participants. Mm -hmm. And the third is to allow the determination to change for the state so that we have more authority about who is going to actually participate in our program. Well, what's going to happen to the 100 to 138 percent range Medicaid enrollees now? Right. So when, whenever that transition does occur, there was, I mean, it's kind of a, the fault of the ACA or one of the big ones that was exposed by the federal uh, lawsuit and then the Supreme Court ruling. And is that th those individuals have the ability to go onto the exchange or they actually have the ability to stay on as Medicaid recipients. And so what we're doing is saying we prefer that those individuals go on the exchange. They'll buy their own policies. They'll have some uh, co-pays and that sort of thing in place, but again, they will not be part of our Medicaid program. What's going to happen with the Arkansas Health Insurance Marketplace, AHIM as it's referred to, is it DOA? Is it going to get kind of uh, put on oxygen for a while? What's going to happen with it? Yeah, I mean, I think right now it's a, it should be placed in a holding pattern because we do not know what they're going to do on the federal level as far as, as the overall marketplace. Right now, you know, our state's a path, pass through state. We allow our individual to sign up on a state portal, but then ultimately they go and they're, they're part of the federal exchange. And so we're gonna maintain that as it is right now. Uh, kind of put a pause on the shop program or the small business um, uh, program. Uh, but ultimately, again, I think that we're gonna see major changes as far as the marketplace inside the next year from the feds. And so take a look and see what's happening and, and just getting our, ourselves in a position to be ready. A little flexibility. The governor talked on uh, Friday in a press conference about there is a $70 million shortfall for right. this current fiscal year that we are in. Revenues have not met forecast or expectations. Uh, my takeaway from that was uh, tax cuts have consequences, don't they? Right, absolutely. I mean, because if you look at it, it's not really a spending problem that we have here in the state. It's a revenue problem as far as how those are coming in and the projections and the change in forecast. The good news is that's the reason we have a Schedule B in revenue stabil stabilization. Most of those agencies that are in B have fund balances they can utilize to kind of avoid any type of cliff. And also a number of those agencies or those expenditures do not deal with services. And so the services will not be cut and, and employment won't be jeopardized for state employees at this point. Tax refunds are higher than they were right. uh, a year ago and that is because of the tax cuts from the governor's tax cut plan right. taking effect. Uh, consumer spending though, sales and use taxes seems to be lower. If people have more money in their pockets, as the governor implied, they should be spending more money, but it right. doesn't appear that they are. Is that problematic? Well, and, but they may be. It, it may be just the, uh, the really the change in the, how the economy works. Uh, you know, folks are buying more online and we're not seeing those sales here. You know, those sales tax filings aren't occurring in the state because we don't mandate them to occur in the state. And so I, I think that goes back to the, a bigger picture and what that task force is going to be charged with as we get, you know, out of this session. The task force is going to take a look at our taxation structure here in the state. I think right now our, our system is fairly archa archaic and needs to catch up to the, uh, the world's economy. Let's uh, shift to executions real quickly. There are a great amount of controversy over the last two weeks right. in the fact that the state of Arkansas uh, procured one of the drugs uh, used in the three drug cocktail right. Uh, under some suspicious circumstances. They were maybe not forthright with the company that they bought it from. Is that problematic to you? Do you want to see more transparency in that process of acquisition? Should there be some legislation to mandate that? Well, I, we're still trying to figure out what exactly occurred, I think. And, and you know, there, there's some controversy, I think, between what's being reported and, and then also what the, what's coming out of the executive branch of how that transaction it came, came to be. Of course, we would want more transparency where there needs to be, uh, but at the same time, at this point, you know, it's the will of the people of Arkansas to carry out executions, and that's, you know, done through this uh, procedure. Still legislative and, oversight is right. important. You guys have certainly been a check and a balance on right. the administration Absolutely. and executive branch and 
other instances, but you don't see there's going to be any investigation into that? I, I don't think that there'll be an investigation at this point. Now, I think there'll be a discussion about what happened and making sure we have the facts and, and understand the, the situation. You guys could also, at some point in time, not in a special session because it's not on the call, you could look at other methods of execution right. that is being discussed among uh, some lawmakers. Do you think that we will eventually see that debate rise to the level of legislation being filed and that will be a discussion that will yeah. take place? No, yes, I, I do. I think there will be a lot of discussion about executions and it's all going to be brought forward about you know the occurrence over the last couple of weeks. and. Um, and, and so, yes, I mean, I anticipate in a, in a future session, I don't believe a special session, we'll see some of those items come out and we'll have a, a, a bigger debate than we've had in the past.